Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I just wanted to do a short video on how you can buy WorldCoin using the Optimism Network on MetaMask. So let's get started. All right, so I may be a little late to the party. I just heard about WorldCoin the other day and was trying to figure out how to get a hold of it. This is their website. I'll put a link to this down in the description below. Of course, they've got an app and all that other stuff, but there is a token that you can purchase and hold on to if you believe in this company. Um, seems seems to be a, a lot of people are suspicious maybe it's a little controlling but i don't judge i just know that there's a new token out there that uh everyone seems to be after and if we go over to the coin gecko page for world coin you can read more about it here you can uh see the current price and the charts and you can also look at markets if you go down here and click on the markets tab you can see where to buy it well it's a little difficult to get your hands on uh, because it's not offered on any U.S. exchange that I can see. Uh, Binance, BitGet, uh, a bunch of these. But uh, if you're a U.S. user, you might find it a little inconvenient to get your hands on this coin and or expensive. If you use Uniswap, you'll have to pay Ethereum fees. So I found out a, a quick and easy way to purchase some WorldCoin. So basically, I'm just going to go over to my Coinbase account. As you can see, I have some U.S. dollar in my account. If you uh, want to add more dollars to your Coinbase account, it's pretty simple. You simply make an online deposit from one of your bank accounts, which you can set up in the settings. Uh, it's not that difficult to put a little money in your Coinbase account using your bank or wire transfer, if that's what you want. Now, we're going to use the Optimism Network to make this purchase. If we go back over here to CoinGecko, you can see that there is a contract address for the Ethereum chain for WorldCoin, and there's also a contract address for the Optimism chain. So Optimism chain is a much cheaper than the Ethereum chain, so that's what I'm going to use here. And let's go ahead and purchase the uh, Optimism on Coinbase. That's pretty easy. All you have to do is go to the Optimism chain, Optimism trading pair. As you can see, they don't sell it on Coinbase, WLD. You can't buy it direct on Coinbase. So we're going to use Optimism. All right, we'll go ahead and uh, buy this Optimism using market. And I'm just going to use all of the dollars in my account for that. All right, if we go back to our portfolio, you can see now that I have Optimism. So what I want to do now is transfer this into my MetaMask wallet. So this is my MetaMask wallet, and I am on the Optimism network. Now, if you don't have the Optimism network set up yet, I'll just delete it here so you can see how this works. So we'll start here, go down to Add Network, and then you can see Optimism is included in the MetaMask list of networks. We'll just click Add here and Approve. And then it'll ask you if you want to switch. OK, and this is what it'll look like for you. You'll just basically have an empty Optimism wallet. As you can see, I've got a little bit of Ethereum in there. Uh, but you want to add the Optimism token. So uh, that's not too difficult. We'll just go over here to CoinGecko, search for Optimism, just search there for it. You want to grab that contract address. There's only one, right? There's only one chain for Optimism, the Optimism chain. Go back over to your MetaMask wallet. You'll do import token. Paste in the contract address of Optimism. These two fields should autofill for you. We'll hit add custom token. And there you've got your Optimism. Yours will most likely be empty. But as you can see, I've got some in there already. Now we have uh, an Optimism address. It's this address right here. We'll go back over to Coinbase. And this time, we'll go to Optimism and do a send. We'll send it all to the Optimism network. Uh, we'll paste this in here. All right, you just paste that address in there. We'll click Continue here. And we'll choose Send Now. All right, I'm going to put in my two-factor here. 
All right, and off it goes. Uh, we can go back over to our MetaMask wallet, and you can see there that the optimism has come in. I've got a lot more optimism than I did before. No pun intended. All right, now uh, basically I'll go ahead and add the world coin at this point. Uh, we want to make sure that we're using the correct version of it. As I mentioned, there is an optimism version of world coin. We'll just click here, go over to MetaMask, and we'll choose import token and paste in that and choose add custom token. All right, and as you can see, I've got a little bit in there already. Alrighty, now all we want to do is swap some optimism for some more world coin. So we'll go ahead and click the swap here. Now when we select token, we want to start with optimism and then uh, we'll paste in the contract address of the world coin that we got over here to make sure that we're on the right world coin, right? We don't want to get one of these fake ones. Right, so pasting in the contract address gives you the correct world coin. All righty, and uh, we can do our swap now. Let's just do 200. All right. All right, it gives us a quote. Uh, I happen to have a ledger device that's protecting this particular account, so I will need to be in the Ethereum account, right? So I'll open up my Ethereum app. Um, you can skip this step if, you, if this is just a standalone MetaMask account, right? I'll hit swap here. And it wants me to confirm with my hardware wallet. So I'll go ahead and review that. Blind signing is enabled. It's the only way for this to happen. All right. Network optimism. Accept and send. Now, if you've never done this before, you might need to uh, authorize optimism for trading if you haven't done so yet. It might ask you to do that. All right, now you can see that I've got my world coin safe and sound in my own wallet, protected by my hardware, so uh, safe and secure. So that's it. That's all there is to it. If you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.